Hello everyone, welcome to learn Flutter for beginner series. By this time you should have Flutter installed on your system. If you haven't done so, just go ahead and watch my previous videos. Once you have done that, we are good to go. In this video, we will create our first Flutter app and play with the app bar. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First I will create a new folder and rename it to Flutter projects. In this folder, we will place our Flutter apps. So let me go inside this folder and click on the path directory and type in cmd and press enter. It will open the command prompt. Let me move the file explorer. Now simply type in flutter create first tab and press enter. It will go ahead and create our flutter application. As you can see the app is created. Let me go inside the app folder. Here we can see all the files of our first app project. Let me go back and close the command prompt. Now I'll open the VS code and simply drag and drop our first app inside VS code. We don't need the file explorer anymore, so let me close it. Here we can see all our project files in the VS code file explorer window. We have project files for several operating systems and platforms such as Android, iOS, Linux, Mac OS, Web and Windows. Now the main file where we will be writing our codes is inside the lib folder. So let me click on main.dart. As you can see there is already some demo codes inside this file. This might seem complicated if you are seeing it for the first time. But don't worry about it, we will create our application from scratch and while doing so I will explain everything so it becomes easy to understand. Now I will select and delete everything below the main function so we can start from fresh. As you can see this is our main function. This function will run my app which I just deleted so we will create that again. So let's go ahead and do that together. First we will create a stateless widget. So let me type in state and click on the stateless widget. This widget takes some parameters, we can type them statically. But it would be nice to have auto completion as soon as we create a stateless widget. So let's go ahead and install some extensions which will help us to do that. Let me click on the extension tab. As you can see, we have already installed Dart and Flutter extensions while setting up VS Code for Flutter development. If you do not have them, just go ahead and install them quickly. Now I'll search for Awesome Flutter. Select it and click on Install. This will install the Awesome Flutter snippets extension, which is particularly helpful for auto completion. Next, we'll search for Bracket Pair Colorizer 2. This extension is deprecated but it is very useful for bracket identification. So let's go ahead and install it. There is a warning, just click on install anyway. Now I'll close the extension tab and select the explorer tab. Now if we type stateless widget again, we can already see the autocomplete suggestions. So just click on stateless widget and voila, now we have lots of code auto completed for us. If we move our mouse pointer to any of the widgets or color text, we can see its details instantly. What kind of widget it is and what type of parameters it takes, we can get an idea from here. And always remember, Flutter is all about widgets. Everything you see in a Flutter app is a widget inside widget. Now let's change the class name to match it with our app name, which is my app. Before making further changes, I will change the device type. From here, I will select the Pixel 4 mobile emulator. If you are on a Mac, you can also select an iOS emulator. So let me click on it. As you can see, a virtual Android emulator has been started. We will run our application inside this emulator. Now instead of returning a container, we will return material app under build widget. 
now we'll create the home page of this material app so let me type in home home is the first page you see when you open the app inside this home property we'll create a scaffold widget which is more like the border of the home screen inside this scaffold widget we'll create an app bar this app bar will take an app bar widget Inside this app bar widget, you can use any of these other widgets. If you want to learn more about any of these widgets, just place your mouse pointer on it and click on the right arrow. It will show details of that widget and often times with an associated example. So feel free to scroll it if you do not understand anything. So let me save this file by clicking on file and then save. Or you can also save it by pressing Ctrl S on your keyboard. Now let's run our app to see if everything is working fine. So let me click on this run icon downward arrow. You can run this app with debugging or also without debugging. Let's run it with debugging. As you can see Flutter comes with hot reload, restart and several other options and VS Code supports all of them. So you can use this shortcut to perform any of these actions instantly. If you are running the app for the first time, it might take some time. So let's wait and see. As you can see, our Flutter app is running as expected. And this blue area on top of the home screen is the app bar. Since we are running the app on debug mode, there is a debug banner on top right corner. To remove this banner, we'll simply change the debug show checked mode banner property to false. Now if I save this file, as you can see the banner is gone. This looks clean now. Then we'll add a title property to our app bar. This will be the title of our app. You can read more about it if you want. This property will take a text widget. So let me type in text. And inside this widget I will type the name of our app which is first app. As you can see there is a squiggly line under the text widget. If we place the mouse pointer on top of it, it will show the preview of the error. As you can see this text widget is of type string. Since we have hard coded it, we need to use constant before it. So just click on quick fix and then add const modifier. This will add const before the text widget and the error will be gone. Let me save it. Now we can see the title of our app inside the app bar. Next we'll add a leading widget to our app bar. As you can see from its description, this widget is placed before the title and uh, it is typically an icon or an icon button. So let me type in icon. And inside this widget, we'll include a menu icon. Let's also fix the squiggly line. We just have to insert a constant before it. Now if I save it, you will see that there is a menu icon inside our app bar. Next we'll add actions widget. This widget takes a list of widgets and displays them after the title. Let me just copy and paste the icon widget. And I'll also add a constant before it. Then I'll simply change the icon to account circle. If I save it, you will see that there is another icon in the app bar. Since this is a list of widgets, you can add as many widgets as you want. Any text, button or even another icon widget. It totally depends on how you want to design your app bar. But I'll leave it to that. We can also center our app bar title. So let me type in center title and set its value to true. Save the file and as you can see, the title is now in the center. We can also change the color of our app bar. So let me type in background color and then colors. Let's set it to red. 
Now if I save it as you can see the color of our app bar is now red. Now let's add a few more properties to our app bar widget. Let me increase the size of the menu icon. So let's set the size to 50. Save it. And as you can see the menu icon is now looks bigger. And also as we are adding more properties and widgets VS Code is automatically formatting our document which is nice. Let's also increase the size of the account icon. Let's set it to 50 as well. Save it and you will see that both of the icons are symmetrical now. Lastly, we'll also increase the font size of our app bar title. So let me type in style. And then we'll use the textile widget. Inside this widget, we'll simply type font size and let's set it to maybe 40 save the file and as you can see the title looks a bit bigger so let me decrease the font size a little so let's change its value to 30 and save it as you can see the title looks better now so this is how you can create and design your app bar in flutter and use as many widgets as you want until you are satisfied with the design Thanks for watching. If you have any question, comment below. See you in the next one. Bye.